Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today we are back at it with hauls and I actually have an accumulation of a few days worth of hauls. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do them in order of the day that I got them. So day one was on Friday. Me and my mom went to some garage sales and we spent about four hours garage sailing and I only found four things total. So it's kind of a bust, but that's okay. I really like the stuff that I got. Um, the first thing I actually got from my sister's garage sale, she tried to give it to me and I said no, so I gave her a quarter for it. Um, my mom actually donated this to the garage sale and it's just this like beaded doily. And yeah, this used to be in our house when we were growing up and I didn't want to see it go to somebody else's house. So I snagged it up and I think I'm going to hang it on the wall because I don't really have too much counter space. Next, um, I got these salt and pepper shakers to go in my collection that I'm doing. I took them up there. There was only a price tag on one. There's three of them total. And the lady said, oh, you can just have them all for a quarter. So I got all three of these for 25 cents. And these ones are really pretty. They're ceramic. They need cleaned up, obviously. And they just have a floral design. So there's those two. And then this one is just like one you'd find at like a pizza restaurant for peppers, which is actually what I'm gonna put in it, is some crushed red pepper. I am looking for more of them that have the bigger openings, but they're kind of harder to find, especially in cuter styles. Okay, next is from Saturday. My mom and I went to the our little local thrift store and we were positive it was the big 50% off sale and it wasn't. I drove up and I was shocked that there were so many open parking spots. I was like, sweet, there's going to be a lot of stuff because maybe people don't know about it. Nope, we were just there on the wrong day, but we stayed anyway. Uh, the color of the day was red and I did find a few things. Um, color of the day is 50% off. So the first thing, sorry, there's a lot of breakables and I don't want to drop them. It's just a pair of jeans for me. They were originally $4.99, but I got them half off, so $2.50. And they're just a pair of Universal Thread, which is um, Target, but just a pair of high-rise black skinny jeans. And I guess I could sell them. This is a pretty popular style. Maybe the brand's not that great, but the style is a fast seller. But I will probably keep them for myself. Next, I got some salt and pepper shakers, obviously. Like, I'm really looking hard, sorry. I know the sound of bags is kind of annoying. Um, but they are these red, like, tin ones. Metal tin, I'm not sure what kind of metal they are, but they were a dollar a piece. But I just really liked the pop of red. That is the accent color in our kitchen. It's gray and red. Next is this one, I got it for 99 cents, and I really like these styles because they're big enough for Chad to use because he has huge hands. So there's that one. And these I got thinking maybe I would sell them on Poshmark. Honestly, I am still a little confused on what you can and cannot sell for the home decor section of it. Are you allowed to sell, uh, sell ceramic? I don't know, are people doing it? Yes, most people are doing it. Um, but they are just these little teacups. Got two matching ones. Perfect condition, no chips or anything. They were half off, so it was 50 cents for both of them together. They are by Harry and David. I don't know anything about hardwares. But I thought they were cute. I kind of want to keep them for myself. I thought these would be cute with succulents or some sort of little plant coming out of them. I thought those would be really cute. Let me know down below if you think ceramics are allowed. Would you sell ceramics even if they're not allowed? I mean, literally, like, that's all you see in the home decor market is ceramics. This box <laughs> was a dollar. It was half off, so I got it for 50 cents, and I have been eyeballing this for like a month. Every single time me and my mom go to the thrift store, I pick this box up, and I think about it, and then I decide not to do it. But since today the color was on sale, 
I picked it up finally and I'm just gonna use it it says recipes but I think it's really cute and I'm gonna use it for uh, my business cards I think this will look really cute on my desk this one I think will be for Poshmark because I really like them and I want to keep them but I'll probably sell these ones they were $2.99 they're uh, zip tied together but it's two different wall hanging baskets and they're pretty good size especially this larger one so you can use it either as like a fruit basket, put plants in it, put your newspapers in it. I don't know. It's really well made too. It's a thicker wicker, <laughs> a thicker wicker. Um, but yeah, I thought they were really cute. Okay. Next, let's see. This is from Saturday. Yes, it was from Saturday. We went to our local Goodwill. Chad's looking for props for a video that he's doing and we couldn't find what we were looking for there so we drove all the way up to Springs which is about 45 minutes away so we drove up to Springs to the Ark thrift store and we couldn't find what he was looking for but for the first time ever I went through the hardware or not hardware hard goods <laughs> through hardware we went through the hard goods and I went through every single aisle and I told Chad it was just like the bins except on shelves. It was stacked so cluttered on top of each other you had to dig through the shelves which was kind of crazy because there was a bunch of glass and stuff. Um, but I did find a few things. Um, this one, this first one was the smaller arc. We actually went to two arcs while we were up over there. This one's the smaller one. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at the clothes. Well, I told Chad I won't look at the clothes. There was long lines at both of them and each time I went and I told Chad, you go stand in line and I'm gonna look through the clothes really, really fast. And then when he'd get close, he'd whistle and I'm like dog hearing, I'd come running. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's what I found. Uh, their sales there were pretty good. They have, I think like six sales, well, six colored tags. And on Saturdays, four of the six are 50% off, which is really cool. So here's what I found. The first thing <laughs> is this Tidy Heidi. <laughs> I did not name her that. That's just what her name is. Um, no, it doesn't even say her name on here. I just know her name is Tidy Heidi. It says, being tidy is my bag. And it's this doll. My mom has had one of these forever as long as I can remember she's had a tidy Heidi on her wall and you use it to put your Walmart bags in uh, yeah so I thought it was cool that we have matching tidy Heidi's <laughs> I think I got too excited over that Chad didn't understand why I was so excited to find her um, next I found some pictures oh did I say how much Heidi was I think I pulled her tag off but I think she was three dollars and then she was half off so a dollar fifty um next are these pictures which i thought were really really cute they are painted and signed by g glissman i tried looking him up like on ebay but i couldn't really find his name anywhere um these were this one was 3.99 but it was half off so it was two dollars and it i mean it's got that in the back but it doesn't affect the picture at all and it has his sticker on it g glissman and I think the G was for Jean Glissman. And then it has what it is. This one's called um, Japanese Fan Fantasia. Fantasia Japonica. I can't read that. I'm embarrassed that I even tried just now, but whatever. And then I found a matching picture by it in the same series. Same frame and everything. Same style. Hand painted and signed. Really pretty. Um, this one was $4.99, so half off of that, so $2.50. Fancy Leaved Caladium, and again, it has the sticker and the name of the piece. Really nice. I think they're cute. Um, I will stick them up on Poshmark, and if they don't do that great, or I don't have any likes or anything, then I will definitely keep them for me. I think these would go really pretty. Um, like, for me, personally, I'm changing our outside porch into, like, a very green sitting area a bunch of plants and everything and I think this would go 
really cute in an area like that. I know that's the style right now, a lot of wicker and a lot of plants, and I think that would be beautiful on the walls. Next art thrift store we went to, they had the same sale going, and it was the same exact thing. The shelves were completely full of stuff. Let me pull some of it out. I already forgot what I got. Like, there's stuff wrapped in newspaper, and I don't remember what's in it. So, the first thing I got, I see that these are pretty popular on Poshmark. They were $1.99, half off, so $1. And they are these, like, wooden, I think they call them monkey dishes, but they are in uh, the shape of seashells, which is another really popular trend right now. Wicker seashells and wooden bowls are really popular right now so that gets two of the three really cute and there's two of them in there so really it was 50 cents a piece uh, this next one it cost me 2.99 so half off of that dollar fifty and it's this basket wicker basket seashell thing that opens for a little bit of storage now it has this really ugly bow decoration that somebody hot glued on there and I saw that and I was like oh that's a bummer this is a really cool piece but Chad says that he has a heat gun at work I don't know what that is a gun that gets hot obviously I don't know how it works but he said that he could get the glue off and I it's only a dollar fifty risk so I went ahead and took it and if it doesn't get all the glue off I'll probably just give it to my nieces because they are, uh, their treehouse is beach themed and I think they would like it too if I can't get it good enough to sell. But I think it's really cute. Okay, let's see what is inside of these papers. Oh, <laughs> another one of these, um, is it different? No, it's the same one. But I was thinking maybe one for like chili peppers, one for onion flakes. I think they would fit out of these holes. I don't know, sorry. That was half off of 69 cents. Is this old, like, syrup container. Glass with the metal lid. It was $1.99, so half off of that. And I was planning on using this. It's small enough to fit onto my spice rack, but I'm going to put my olive oil in it so that it can kind of match with the rest of it. And let's see, the last is two big pieces. This one is for Chad. I found it. Sorry. <laughs> I found it. Hopefully that didn't hurt the other one. I found it and I kind of liked it, but I was trying to pick my battles here because the next thing is a really big piece that I really, really wanted and it was a little more expensive. So I saw it and I liked it and I put it back because I wanted the other thing more. But Chad ended up actually wanting this for himself for the, a video that he's working on. He needed a whiteboard. And it was half of $2.99, so $1.50 for this, which is a really good deal. It has these wooden handles on it. And it's just a whiteboard. And he needs it for one video, and then when he's done, it's all mine. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing that I got is what I am most excited for. I saw it and I fell in love instantly. I love it so much. Not as much as my pickle dish, but it's like right there next to it. Okay, it was originally $8.99, which is expensive for me at a thrift store, but it was half off, so I couldn't pass it up. If it wasn't half off, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but since it was, yeah is mine. It is this huge duck. Um, a mallard? Is it a goose or a duck? I think it's a duck. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a black head. Is it a goose? Not sure, but I love it. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it to say where it's from or who made it, but look at him. He's ginormous. And then he's got the hook on the back so that you can hang them on your wall, which yeah, I'm gonna do. I don't even know if I have a spot big enough for him, but I'm gonna make one. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I think it's so cool. 
I almost want to redecorate my bedroom into a duck theme just so I can hang him above my bed. I love it. I know. I'm weird. I love it, though. Um, also, I ended up putting my duck, I don't know if you can see him, in my other videos, I always scoot to the side and I show you Chad's um, treasures over there. I did get some of the baskets up and you can see, let's see if I tilt you down a little. There's one, one duck and then this one, I can't point, right there's a duck. But yeah, I like the way it's coming out so far. I need to add a few more things to it. But I like the way everything's coming out so far and I really love everything that I picked up. All of this is completely my style. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for coming and watching. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get this stuff up on Poshmark. I'm more focused on the clothing right now, but I am, I am wanting to get this stuff up. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to do home goods because I've never sold hard goods before. So it makes me a little nervous, but they will be up on my Poshmark. If you're interested, you can uh, go visit it at Bella Milk and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.